what, guys? I'm paying! I sold the house! You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. As of today, I, Maria Isabella Grace Cruz Santos, am free from my instant noodle binge. Seriously? Hold it, Belle. You sold the house? Yep. Which house is this? In Aslam Village? The one with the open house yesterday? The one and only. Come on, Becca. I know you've got a better memory than that. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, that's... You don't believe me? I'm sure it ain't the way you're thinking, Bella. No, no, I do believe you. But uh, don't you think the sale happened a bit too fast? The open house only started yesterday, and now you already have a buyer? It happens from time to time. Yeah, but... Look, I'm happy for you. Just yesterday, you've been really worried where to get money for your dad's new treatment. And now, all of a sudden, you have something. W what if the sale doesn't push through, or I don't know, they're a fraud, or they suddenly back out? Isn't it a little too early to celebrate? Rebecca does have a point, Bella. If you haven't closed the deal yet, there's still a chance they'll go back on it. They don't seem like it to me. The lady appeared to really want it, and she approached me without even finishing the tour. And she already hired someone to handle the house's interior design. You're joking. Who would do that? The rights, apparently. It's actually pretty funny. She's a bit too excited to get the property. She forgot to buy it. At any rate, they've already signed the agreement today, so it's just a matter of time. And don't tell anyone about this, but Ma'am Hannah also gave us something extra. Something as in... As in, it's why I can treat you two to a free meal. I'm more surprised you accepted it. She didn't really give us a choice in the matter. So don't lose sleep over this, okay? The couple really want the house. If Rose didn't stop them, they'd likely have paid up front for it yesterday. That's despite the legends, too. I even tried to show them the letter. But nope. I want this house, darling! Go take all our money! You don't really think they'd believe that, do you? I'm pretty sure for them, those are just rumors as well. No one is that superstitious in this day and age, Belle. Oh, well, there's you. Right. You know what? I'll just eat all of these by myself. <laughs> I'm kidding! Don't go all pouty on me again! I'm just concerned you'll get hurt if this doesn't happen. I know how badly you want to close this deal for your papa. I'm sure he's gonna be fine now, though, with the money. They don't know yet. I think I'll call them tomorrow. Let them know things will be easier. Mama said this morning he's showing progress with the new treatment, too. It's just a matter of time. Are you sure you're not feeling under the weather, Zachary? Huh? W no, I I'm okay. No, no worries, Rebecca. Doesn't sound okay to me. It's... It's, it's okay. I might be feeling a little bummed out today, but, but I'm, I'm sure this will pass. Is it about the reviews this morning? Heard about those, huh? Sorry, I just happened to check on some sites this morning. Nah, nah, it's it's 
it, it's a very sensitive topic in the first place. I, I should have expected it. What reviews? It's his movie. That doesn't explain anything. Stop dangling the information, Becca! Zachary, I'm not the one supposed to be telling her about this. It's still your documentary. Is it something bad? Not bad, per se. You, you, you guys don't need to dwell on it much. Bad? Listen here! I wouldn't trivialize what those bowheads wrote if I were you. They're ruining other people's jobs! <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter, Isabella. Some bowbag just insulted him. Calm down, Rebecca. Those are just reviews, and it happens a lot. <sighs> I didn't kin about you two, but calling the entire film an out-and-out -out drivel, you're better off watching an educational kids' TV show, and worst one and a half hour of my life, among other things, isn't exactly a critique any decent movie reviewer would say. <laughs> if you could call that a critique, did we even watch the same film? Well, maybe I ain't cut out for it. Better stick with my photography or something. If nothing else, this helped me open my eyes to what I can and can't do. You're giving up. It was just something experimental I did on my free time anyway. It's no big deal. But you worked on it for months! Doesn't look like it matters for those people. Don't say that! 